it's just like Moses came in here and parted the sea. Now it's time to step right out onto the ocean floor. I've got the uh, GoPro going here as well. So you can follow my steps. It's windy out here today. And uh, you can see they've got almost like a little staircase molded in place here. come to realize my choice of footwear is a major fail. There are places I can't really explore because of it. You need uh, a boot with good grips to get you through all this mud. Now some of this clay is just super brittle. You pick it up, you think, okay, that looks like almost a rock, but then ugh, there you go. You can break it with your bare hands. I made it out here to the other side of the island. This is the view you can only get if you have a boat or wait till low tide. Oh. I'm really digging this shade of green from the seaweed lining the walls here. It's incredible to see this. I don't think I've seen it in nature quite like this in person before. fresh seaweed on the walls. That's a sign. I gotta get the heck out of here before that tide comes in. I set out at 9.15 a.m. and was back by noon. By 3.12 in the afternoon, the tide had returned. As a rule, you need to be back on land three hours before high tide so you don't get stuck. If you'd like to visit Burncoat Head Park, the tide times are posted on their website at burncoatheadpark.ca. 